Do you need to wake up at 5 a.m. to be successful? Why is this such a common myth in entrepreneurship that you have to wake up at 5 a.m., that you have to read a book a week, that every waking moment you have to spend listening to Tony Robbins? I'm here to tell you today that no, you don't have to wake up at 5 a.m. In fact, you don't have to do any of these if you have this one thing. That's what we're gonna talk about today. A lot of entrepreneurs like to get up at 5 a.m. They also go to bed at 8 p.m. That's the part that they don't mention. So pretty much their whole evening is cut short. And I only know this from personal experience because I love to get up just before the sun rises when it's calm outside, nobody's awake yet. There's no distractions and I can sit there and I can focus. But I do go to bed at like 8.30 or 9.30 as a result. And here's the reason I get up at 5 a.m. It's because this is the time when I'm, there's no distractions and I can focus on my work and I can create something for other people. This is the time that I can work on making a product or a service that's better than the competition. Because that's what it really comes down to. If you can focus on creating better work that the public consumes, that your market consumes, better than the competition, the alternative in the marketplace to solve the same problem, then it doesn't matter if you wake up at 5 a.m. or 5 p.m. See, the athlete wakes up at 5 a.m. for the same reason that the musician stays up all night to create better work. The athlete, his art is his body, is his athletic feats. The musician, it's his music, it's his paintings. He stays up all night, he works when everyone else is asleep. And so this is why it works to get up when everyone else is asleep or stay up all night because distractions are gone and you're free to do what's called deep work, which is where you can sit there for three or four hours undistracted, nobody's texting you, you're not looking through Instagram, and you can actually create. So if you're wondering, do I have to get up at 5 a.m.? Do I have to read a book a week? Do I have to listen to Tony Robbins? The answer is only if these things help you make better products and services for your customers. Only if they help you beat the competition because life is a competition. Somebody else out there wants what you have. And if you can't do a better job than they can, then they're gonna take everything you want in life. But all you have to do is get a tiny little edge. If you think about the Olympics, Fourth place, nobody even knows who they are. If it's a foot race, they might have lost by half a second, yet they get none of the glory, they get none of the rewards. And third place is an Olympic medalist for the rest of their lives. So you only need a small edge over your competition. And if waking up at 5 a.m. does that for you, then I suggest you get up at 5 a.m. But if that's not the key factor for you, if you're gonna find that edge somewhere else, maybe you're a night out, maybe you find your creative work is best in the middle of the day when the kids are at school, maybe you have alternative methods and you don't need to read books and you don't need to wake up at 5 a.m. because you spend so much time with your customers, you know them better than they know themselves. If you have an edge like this, then you can forget about the other stuff. Find out what works for you, the things that you enjoy doing that give you an edge and keep doing them long enough to create something better than the competition and you've won the game. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want more content like this. That's all for today. It's Christian, the Work From Anywhere guy. See you next time.